Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to display a bitmap image in a web view in your Android app. So let's begin. You create a new project. You can name this anything. Say, for example, bitmap in a web view. Okay, so things I will leave as it is and click finish and wait for the environment to load. Once the environment loads, I will also start my emulator on parallel on right hand side and first and foremost I will grant the privileges required so one of the privileges which will be required is read the media no no I am not sure why it went that ok media images so I think this is the permission which we will need perfect and apart from uh, manifest file I will also make sure that we ask for this permission from the end user I will minimize the emulator for the time being I don't need that so in the on create method itself, what I'll do in the activity compact dot request permission context is this and then new string and here read media image and then last one is package manager permission granted. Perfect. I am hoping this should give me an option to include. Okay, or probably I have done some mistake. No, I think this is oh image. Yes, I'm missing the S there, and that's why it's not coming up. So if I put it, so it's asking to press Alt Enter so that it can include the required uh, import library. Perfect. So now this is done. Now I'll jump to my layout quickly and first finish the layout part. So in layout, I don't think I need this text loop. The first and foremost, I need a button to trigger it to trigger the image conversion. So bitmap into web view, and we will give some constraints to this one. Perfect. Then apart from bitmap, I'll also do one thing. I'll keep a bit image view so that at least to see in an image view also how it comes up the bitmap. So I'll give some constraints. The ID is already given. So I'll be using it and then I'll also put a web view and I'll just resize it somewhere like this yeah and then I'll give an ID to it so I'll keep it same web view in the java code I'll quickly create a couple of class variables one is the image view for image and the other one would be the web view for web view view access yeah and i'll associate it with the two widgets what we have created and this is for review and then image view also same thing find by id r dot id dot image view perfect now i'll create a public method public void button and that's the button is bitmap to web view And I'll assign this or associate this button on click attribute to the method which I just now defined. Perfect. So I think from layout perspective, I'm done here. And now I will start my coding. So more or less all the assignments are done. Now in the bitmap on this button click, what I'll do is first and foremost, not, not a volume but manager, I create a storage manager which will get system service. And the service what we need is the storage service. Storage service. Yeah, this one perfect. It must ask you to type cast, cast it, perfect. Now once I have the storage manager, then what I'll do is a storage volume. I'll get the storage volume from this a storage manager. Get the storage volume and get the index zero because zero is for internal zero for internal storage so let me show you something very quickly if i go back to the layout or no i mean my emulator so in the emulator if i go to the downloads folder i already have few images so say for example we're using the flowers flower.jpg for my coding so here my file will be say for example or string file will be nothing but a storage volume dot get 
directory dot get path so this will be in a string format and then i will append the download slash flower dot jpg so i'll be using this i'm hard coding it or although you can take it as an input in your code as per your convenience yeah no once i have it then what i'll do i'll create a bitmap bitmap image and this bitmap i'll create using bitmap factory dot decode from file and then what i need is the path name in the string format so i already have the string file which is the path and then i will assign it to the image using or not the, i mean the image with the local variable not the object image and here i will use the bitmap as an input so this is for setting my image in the bitmap so let's assume that's fine uh, image uh, uh, bitmap image in the image view now we'll do it for web view over here so for that we may have to convert into bytes uh, array and then we'll take it in the string format into the html format so let me first create a byte output stream and new byte output stream perfect and then i'll use the bitmap image dot compress here and the format we can choose is either png or jpg it doesn't matter i was expecting it to come but i think i may have to use compress uh, yeah this is what i was looking for the second argument is quality it ranges from 0 to 100 you can give anything for the 10 and then the output stream what we just know defined above so no the bitmap will get compressed and get into this output stream now i'll convert this into a bytes array so bytes array and what i'll do is i will just use this output stream to convert into the byte array perfect so once i have this then i will convert it into the string format string image bytes you can name this anything it doesn't matter and here what i will use is i'll use base 64 encoding so encode to string and the inputs are what i need is the bytes array which we just now created above and then the flags so flag could be say for example nothing but sorry about that base 64 dot probably we can choose a default yeah so once we have the bytes into string format then we can convert into the html part so for that what we'll do to convert into the html uh, url so first we'll string html url so what we'll do is first is we'll create the header part of the url which is basically android asset and then we'll append the html part i'll do one thing wait a minute I'll, i don't think i'll need this over here i'll just park it for timing somewhere below and here i'll directly make the html part so for that what i'll need is html tags which is basically html this is a standard uh, html tag body and then image as source src equals to and here we can give our image i'll come to that later and then once the image is given then that's all i guess i can close all my tags html tags so slash body and what else is there the html tag also right html yeah you, you should better copy paste it from somewhere because if you do some mistake in typing it may not be good <coughs> anyway so once we have it then what i can do is i can use this Control c Control v to replace the string whatever is the in between with the our uh, image source so replace and the first thing is the original character so that's basically 
control C, control V, image over here, and then the new character, the character sequence with which we want to replace it. Then for that, what I can do is data image slash png. This is base 64 type, and then probably I can append. To this the string image bytes here perfect so once I have it then I can do one thing I can use my web view to load it with base URL and the first input is a base URL which is this one basically control X control V and then second input is a data which is basically my string HTML URL MIME type you can probably give the HTML. So I'll do one thing text slash HTML and then character encoding could be the standard one UTF UTF 8 and last argument is the history. No history, we can leave it blank. We don't need it. So that's all. I guess let me now run this app and see if it works so it's asking for permission you give the permission to access the uh, images and click on this perfect so if you notice and so first of course it came in the image view because of the first part of the code and in the second part of the code probably I'll do one thing review part of the code below and I will control C image view part of the code below yeah so it's a two section of course we are reusing the bitmap from both from the previous one in this one but the code is pretty much straightforward I mean you have to convert it into a bytes uh, uh, array and then in string byte by in, using the character encoding of base64 and after that you can convert into an HTML format and then load it using a load with base your concept in web view and then you get this image in the uh, web view which is from your local folder so I hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye